There we go. All right. Well, welcome to the Tupperware party, party, guys. We're going to do a lot of fun. First of all, some of you might notice that we have some silver tequila here. Okay. That means the party can start, right, Louis? Yeah. Okay. And I want to recognize, I want to um, introduce Miss Elizabeth Worcester. She is our fabulous hostess for the Moses and also a brand new Tupperware party. So excited to have her. The next to her is her husband. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> actually, one of her business partners, and we have Lewis, her brother, and we have Sharon our strong thing. So we're waiting for another gal to kind of pop in. So while we're doing, we'll go ahead and put the Mercury's together because we might as well might as well get the party started, right? Okay. So Miss Elizabeth, could I have you grab the purple picture that we used last night at the training party? And um, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna just kind of start with our beverage tonight. Um, pretty easy to do. Uh, just to kind of give you an idea of what's inside your packet, as we um, get the party started, you're going to notice that there's a couple of uh, materials in here. We have your sales flyer and we have your big catalog. There's an order form inside here, and there's information on our top four company. So if you've ever thought about joining a direct sales company, there's lots out there. Uh, what I love about Tupperware is it, it, it really is a product that supports the, live, the, the living of um, eating healthy, saving money, um, and, and being more proactive when it comes to the environment, right? It's funny because Tupperware has been green for 68 years. In other words, how many of you have a piece of Tupperware that you've had for at least, I don't know, a decade or, or longer, right? Would you say that's a, a good investment, right? So all of these products we're going to be sharing tonight, um, they are in the Tupperware, and what they are is these those of you who are on Zoom, if you want to go ahead and mute yourself, that'd be great so we don't have any background noise. Okay, there's a little microphone, just mute that button. All right? So, um, so what we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with our margaritas. margaritas. Okay? This guy right here is called our two-port impression pictures, and it makes such an impression. Okay. Uh, what, are some, what are some things that you notice about the picture, just by looking at it? Oh, very compact. Very compact. This is a two quart pitcher. So when you think about two quarts, usually round pitchers are what you have, but they take up a lot of room. Right? Okay. Um, this is very slimline, so it fits in the door. Okay. So you don't have you have everything kind of filled up in the refrigerator. It's nice to have something like this. You're also going to notice that it has a really easy open and close mechanism. Um, which, in other words, if you have something in your hand, okay, you can open it with your hand, you can close it with your elbow, okay, and it actually kind of locks in place. And the reason that does that is because it has this little blocking mechanism on the back. The other thing I love about this is how many of you have a pitcher and you go to pour something out of it and it's, it, by the time you're done, it's all sticky downside, okay? The way that this is designed, it actually has a slanted um, spout, so to speak. So when I'm done pouring, the beverage or whatever I have inside here goes right back into the pitcher, okay? And it's dishwasher safe, which is awesome. All right, so we're gonna start with limeade, okay? So, can I have you open that, Miss Liz? Awesome. And just going to dump it inside there. So, this is just thought limeade. And what you want to do is you want to, oh, we're going to save that can. Yes, yes, we are. Okay. You know how to do this, right, girl? The garbage is right over there, girl. Okay. So, we're going to use this as our measuring receptacle. Now, this is the camping margarita. This is do not drive margarita. This is, it's, it's awesome, right? So we're gonna use this little guy right here. Oh, by the way, when you find these on sale for $89.99, $1.9, buy them, put them in the freezer, okay? They're wonderful to keep on hand, especially if you want to make margaritas, okay? So we're just gonna go ahead and take our 7-Up and make sure it doesn't explode. Yeah. Go ahead and fill that up for me. Oops, sorry, that was my bad. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and okay. now we're going to take, now don't judge us, all right? So we're going to take the same measuring receptacle and we're going to fill it up with, guess what? Tequila. So tequila. Okay, now I want to give you guys um, a tip. If you're going to do this at a party, Okay, I don't care if it's a Tupperware party or, you know, a, a, a seafair party. Um, first batch is full strength. 
Second batch is three quarter strength. And the third pitcher, if you get that far, half strength. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, it's really just, you really need to do that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So while we're waiting for the beer, let's go ahead and do our lines. Okay. So here's our flexible cutting board. You know, what I love about our flexible cutting board is uh, they're flexible. They're really easy to clean. Um, and they're really sturdy. So if you kind of feel those, they, they, they are, they're substantial. They're not the real thin ones. What I like about these is they do go in the dishwasher. I put them right in the dishwasher, right on the bottom line. Okay. Our three-piece knife set is on sale still for Friday. Um, if it's not on sale, they're $56 for the set of three. Love these knives. Sharon, do you love these knives? Love these knives. Love these knives. They have the built-in covers on them. Um, what I like about the built-in covers is they're great. So if you're storing them or packing them along someplace that in the camping gear, they have the protective covers on them. We do have this knife sharpener. Do you want to showcase the knife sharpener yes. for us, Ms. Liz? So the knife so, sharpener is awesome. Let's use. Okay, go ahead. This is the serrated edge right here. Okay. And I'm going to pass this knife around so you've got they can take a look at that. But go ahead and show them how to use the other ones too. So it's pretty simple. You just slide them through. Mm -hmm. Like three or four times. Good to go. There you go. So let me pass this around. This little knife sharpener here, what you're going to like most about it is that it's super good compact design. And, but when you open it up, it actually has a hand guard. So it's really safe to use. It's, on, it's in the catalog. It's $32. And what you're going to notice is on the serrated edge. See, that's the serrated one. You go ahead and just take that and draw that across. Look how easy that was to sharpen the serrated edge. $32 for the knife sharpener. Must have. Oh, for any kitchen. Go ahead and take your lines. I'm going to go ahead and get the zest of us. That's over here. Pretty sharp knives now that you sharpen them? <laughs> yeah. All right. So our zest and press, most of us, if you were to look at this zest and press, you'd probably like, oh, well, we put the lime right here, right? No. You do that, you're going to have a lime shower. Okay? So it's cut side down. Can you use this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cut side down and pretty much. This is all we use now. And then it pops it right. There you go. You're done. Perfect. So juice of two limes, and we're going to go ahead and add a beer. Preferably a light beer, or I should call a blonde beer. It doesn't have to be a, a light beer. Um, I have used Bud Light Lime which is fabulous, and you don't even have to add the two lines, okay? But Bud Light Lime works really good. But Corona, because we're talking margaritas, right, girl? Okay. We get some ice. Here, dog will eat the ice. So we don't have dog anymore. I think, mm -hmm. for the four piece set. And our hosts get items at half price. So if you kind of like these, best thing to do is have it get together, get all four, of the, get the whole set for half price, okay? And you're ready to go. So this, you smell it. <laughs> <laughs> it's delicious. There's some glasses right over there, my friend. So we'll just take these and throw our lime juices right aside here. I'll let you go ahead and serve up some margaritas for us. Let 
Perfect. Perfect. Go ahead. You're fine, girl. All right. So the other thing about our zesty press, if you don't know this already, it's a really great press. Saw that already. But it has a built-in zester. The neat thing about the zester is um, you don't need the zester all the time. They're nice to have when you need it. But this not only is great for doing lemons and limes and chocolate and cinnamon and all that good stuff because it zests right on top. So when you're done zesting, it falls right inside here like this. And this is a, you like it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. This is another great product. It retails in the catalog for $35. Um, one of the pieces, and it's interesting because I had a host of mine that actually, um, she saw this demonstrated, and so she saw one like a big lot for like 10 bucks, right? She was, oh, that's just like the top four one. <laughs> so she came to a party about two weeks after that. She was, okay, you know something? I completely wasted my money on that stupid line press. She goes, I need to get one of the top four ones because the one that she got at big lots was just, Junk. Junk. Yeah. I was going to say crap, but same thing, right? So when you buy Tupperware, okay, the benefit of, does any, well, first of all, I got some auction dollars here. Oop, is that your guest? Yay! She's here and we made the margaritas for her, so she's ready to go. We'll get her, we'll get her all acclimated, ready to go. Right? So can you kind of taste the margaritas and how they don't taste like there's a lot of alcohol in there, huh? Oh, yeah. They're, they're good though, huh? Right? So, and that's what I tell people, and here's a whole another. <laughs> so, uh, there is. Okay. So, you would do, like I said, another two batches, right? Okay. So, just be cautious when you're, when you're serving this as a responsible host. Um, make sure you have that available. All right. Hi, come in. Welcome, welcome. Something about margaritas. <laughs> oh, girlfriend, you got margaritas and we got a cat for you. Hi, sir. Nice to meet you, I tell you. Come on, we'll grab a seat and we'll, oh, we need to give you a margarita right here. Oh, Absolutely. All right, here you go. Great. So, these glasses that you're drinking out of, by the way, well, Claire, almost. Okay. Um, you will be drinking out of Very shortly. Okay. Are actually uh, Tupperware, what they call ice prisms. And what we're going to have you um, see a little bit later is um, we actually have a whole beautiful host gift special. If you want to bring one of those glasses over, and the glass that you're drinking out of is the same as this glass right here, but they changed the color on it. And this is actually that whole set that's over there on the table that we'll be showing you in just a bit. You can get that whole entire set for free as a host. Okay? So if you're the kind of person who kind of likes pink and you want to go into spring, these are actually gorgeous. These glasses that you're using right there, I have got to say they've got to be um, at least six, six years old. Okay, and I do put them in the dishwasher. And it's so funny, I don't use, I only use glass for my wine, but we use the Tupperware tumblers and the Tupperware glasses as our everyday drinking glass, okay? So you invest in Tupperware, it's gonna last you a really long time. Okay. Okay, so love these. Can you pass those around? Probably people take a look at that. So now we're going to go ahead and get the chicken going because that's going to take about um, 20 minutes to get going. And we're going to use this guy right here. This is our pressure cooker. Okay, Liz is going to help me because she knows all about this. So, um, Liz, I'm going to have you wash your hands because we're going to handle some chicken today. And we have two pounds of chicken that we just got from the butcher. And you know, one thing that I just learned from Liz just a little bit ago, and Sharon chimed in too, um, is I asked this, so do you buy your chicken at the butcher at the grocery store? So why are some, what's, what's the reasons why you buy it from the butcher versus buying it already packaged? That's cheaper. The right to tend oh, this. okay. And what about the quality? It's usually fresh. <laughs> Fresher, okay. So I did not know that. I always buy in, you know, and they filled the out department. Um, with the, the other thing that Sharon said, what did you think? What did you say about the buying chicken at the butcher? The package and the size that you're right. So you being just you and Lonnie, you don't need four pounds of chicken to bring home. You can just need one chicken breast, share that, you're ready to go. So I'm gonna have you take this chicken, just use it on our the, our cutting board, and we're gonna have you just kind of chunk it up into Ooh, pieces about that thing. Okay, so while she does that, let me give you guys some auction money to get you going. We're going to have an auction today, and I'm going to actually have Rob be the banker. So Rob gets the pad, you get the pad, don't keep the money. You get the pad, sound the money. Okay, so I'm just going to ask some questions, and if you can say yes, you're going to get some auction dollars. All right, 
So, um, if you arrived on time, you get a hundred bucks. What? Yes. <laughs> I arrived on time for me. <laughs> okay. I think that should count. You know what I do? I want to, you know, because a lot of times people are kind of like, oh my gosh, I'm late. We're going to go give her $200. Yeah. All right. $200, Claire. Um, how many of you told the host that, yes, I'm coming? I'm coming. Okay. So give them all a hundred bucks. Okay. How many of you saw, um, oh, I didn't do that because it was your grand opening party. How many of you? You see, usually I give them hundred dollars for liking my Facebook page. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can still like my I Facebook well page. But we're gonna set Elizabeth up so can you like two hour late. Um, did any of you answer any of the questions that were on on the Facebook group, like doing a selfie or anything of that nature? I don't know how. <laughs> you don't have to do a selfie? Well, we'll have to teach you all. They're pretty easy to do. Okay. Um, did any of you bring a pen? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. If, you, if you brought a pen, you get a hundred bucks. If you brought your purse, you get another hundred bucks. A wallet will count. A wallet will count. If you brought money. <laughs> money, money. Okay. All right. Um, if you brought a friend or a friend friend's order, you get money. Did no, you didn't. Oh, uh, well, I think you might have been invited. Well, now, uh, and then <laughs> for a thousand dollars, I'll give you a thousand dollars right now. Matter of fact, we're gonna up the ante. I'll give you fifteen hundred dollars right now if you say, Yeah, I'm gonna have a couple of parties. Not only to get some free stuff. I already told her I would. Yeah, fifteen hundred dollars. Give her fifteen hundred dollars. And Louis, what do you think? Fifteen hundred dollars would be good. Fifteen hundred dollars right now to get a Tupperware party with oh. this wonderful woman right there. All right, so okay. fifteen hundred dollars. Good job. Okay. Now I'm going to give you. Um, out of money. Oh my! I I got a whole stack. Okay? <laughs> I got a whole stack. So I'm going to do around. How you doing on that chicken? Huh? She's doing good. <laughs> You're doing a great job. I'm so sorry. And actually, if you actually come, you can just pop them in there when you're ready to. All right. So we have our chicken cutter over here. Doing a great job. Oh, you want more money? Right. No. All right. So round two. Yeah, some of you can answer yes to this. Okay. Um, a hundred dollars if you've ever been to one of how many software parties? Last year. Uh -huh. Okay. Excellent. Two hundred dollars if this is your very first software party. You can't, you can't be the first to come to a party at the same time. What? What? I can't wait. What? You gave him $100 for being in attendance at my party. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that was Paul. Oh, that was Paul. Okay. $200 for being in We call them. We call them. We call them. We call them. We call virgins. Louis, you're a virgin. Who's going to be a virgin, huh? Okay. So, $200. And then $100 if you could use an extra $1,000 income every month. So, okay, that's a, that's, a, that's really a dumb question, you guys. You should all be on this your hands. I like how it was slow. Yeah. Oh, no. Is that, is that a trick question? Not really. Um, $500 if you've ever stole a board before. Which none of you On have. a garage sale? Oh, that no. I'll give you $100 for creativity. Okay? All right? Um, and for $100, give me a reason why you would buy Tupperware. Why buy Tupperware? It lasts. How long does it last, Paul? Um, years. Years. Honestly. How many? <laughs> how many of you have a piece of Tupperware or know the piece of Tupperware like your grandmothers, and you're still it's still being used today? Is that an investment? Is that getting your money for Apparently, vintage Tupperware goes for like a premium. Oh, a premium price. Yeah, we sold a bunch of Tupperware garage sales, and guys like scooped it all up. And he's like, I'm gonna get like for this bowl. Yeah. Because vintage oh, Tupperware is yeah, so last yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that, That's exactly yeah. that right. So, any of us, what's another reason to buy Tupperware? Yeah. 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 He's, 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 he's ready. I want my $100. So, everybody, why buy Tupperware? Good reason. Okay. You're right about this. Okay. Kitchen stuff. Kitchen stuff. Okay. So, let me tell you some of the best benefits about, about buying Tupperware. First of all, as we said earlier, when you purchase Tupperware, it's going to last a long time, but it also has a lifetime warranty. I would say 98% of our products, now there's certain products that don't have a lifetime warranty, like our kitchen towels. I mean, we, got to, we have to draw them on something. So this little picture right here, you invest in this picture, it's $19. Okay? Not a bad value. It's a dollar shortage. What happens when you buy a dollar shortage? At, like six months, it's in the trash. You buy this picture. If the handle breaks, if the top breaks, <laughs> if there's a crack in it, 
If you grew up just going to go and embrace, you just call myself, call Liz, call a Tupperware consultant, any place in the United States, free, 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 because if it's on sale, you save some good money. The pressure cooker is fifty dollars off today. So you're probably saying, "Well, if it's fifty dollars off, how much does it retail for?" <laughs> right? I knew that was like, "Whoa!" If it's fifty dollars off, what's it? So it's ninety nine dollars on sale today. Okay. So let me share with you a couple of things we're, um, that you can do with this. First of all, we're actually going to do barbecue chicken sliders in this in about twenty to twenty five minutes. You can also do mushroom risotto in fourteen minutes. You can do a homemade soup with real fresh ingredients inside the pressure cooker in about 20 minutes. We did, come up, we did last night. Oh my God, we did this <laughs> peanut butter cake. Oh, what, 15 minutes? Oh, 10, 10 minutes, 10. 10 minutes for this cake. It was, it was, the, most, it was the best cake ever. <laughs> it was, there's several steps you have to go with it, but it was a decadent chocolate Reese's peanut butter cupcake. Oh, this girl, she's a new Oh my gosh. Oh, my <laughs> a lot of, okay, well, we can do that at your party first. Okay, yeah, we can. Okay, okay. So, yeah. 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 you want to do that at your party? And yeah. if you want to, we can serve maybe margaritas or we could do um, chocolate margaritas. Okay, does okay. that sound okay? Okay, <laughs> ah, so chocolate peanut butter cake and chocolate margaritas. I think that's a part of it. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, so we have our chicken, and the reason why we're cleaning this up because this actually calls for when we're done cooking to go ahead and shred it up. Okay, and we're going to use this guy right here, the power chef. But it's easier to cut up cold chicken than cooked hot chicken, right? So the recipe initially said to put in all the chicken breasts and just cook it. Don't do that. Just cut it up first. Right, sure? Okay. So now we're going to use pineapple, okay? So <laughs> Liz, I'm going to have you come back over here and do the pineapple when you're ready. She loves the can opener, don't you, Liz? Oh, my God. Love the can opener. And if you guys do not have a Tupperware can opener and you need to invest in one, they're $35. They actually come in the starter kit, which is nice. So not only are you, you're going to get, did you have another one of the can openers at home and one in your kit? No. Okay. So we have a very crappy like 9910 one. Oh, which, but now you have a good one. Okay. It takes you 20 minutes to do the can. <laughs> meal so how many of you have a can opener that when you open up the can, it leaves those sharp edges? Yeah. How many of you have ever cut yourself on a lid of a can, especially if you're recycling and that kind of stuff? And literally, I had a hostess of mine. She goes, oh my gosh, I'm getting a can opener. She had cut herself so severely, she had to go to the hospital and get stitches uh, because she was digging through to do recycling and one of the lids cut her. So you know something? That was an adult. How many of you have kids that take care of the recycles, right? Be good to them, okay? The other thing I want to really make sure that you're aware of, if you have babysitters that come and watch your children. Sharon, you're laughing at this because this is a true story. You gotta teach them how to use the can opener before you leave because we had um, a babysitter come and stay with our girls when they were little and she was, oh gosh, I'm so sorry. I had to feed them top ramen because I couldn't figure out your can opener. <laughs> so Liz, share us a little bit about step-by-step -step how to make this baby work. <laughs> this over just a little bit so there you go all right so pretty much you're going to put it on top of the can not sideways like this like most of them do it's going to go on top you have to squeeze the handles together it locks on and without any further ado <laughs> you've got yourself where to start at yeah there we go don't keep on a little bit more you're going to feel a little click okay. and a release there it is. All right. So now you go all the way around and you're going to feel a little bit, you feel a little slam. Okay. Yes. And you're going to, it's like, whoa, it's easy to move. Okay. So unengage or disengage. Disengage. Okay. And then this guy will actually lift that top off. So open up the candles just a little bit. And so there you go. See how that little thing is going to hatch, hatch that? And then you lift it up. Woo! Look at that. So I'm going to wash this off. Guys, those of you who are on the training, I always wash the lid off and pass it around because I want them to see that there's no sharp edges on the lid. So dump that inside there, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and pass this around. Now what I have is I have a craft project, right? Okay, 
The other thing that I love about this is when I am, because uh, there's no sharp edges on the can either. So how many of you have people that you want to maybe do a gay gift with? Okay, so this is what you gay. do. Okay, gay gift. The gay dad, whatever. I don't know. A trick. <laughs> we'll just use the word trick, all right? So what you do is, let's say you put like one of those things that pop open, excuse me, let's do that. Like, just some fun things, okay? Or maybe you put like a pair of socks in here, okay? Or a pair of un sexy underwear or whatever you wanna do. Um, so what then you do is you stuff it up and then you would glue the lid back on, okay? <laughs> you like that idea? Okay, you glue the lid back on, take the label off, do your own label, and then they open there and it's like a can of panties. <laughs> okay, and we have, we have, we have, we have Valentine's Day. Did you ever put it back in the pantry? I put it in the pantry. I put it in the pantry. I put it in the pantry. And then let him open it. So then, you know, in two weeks, you're like, oh, you got my pineapple, babe. Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. Okay, put a mouse in it. A fake mouse. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is going to be all over Facebook, I can tell. All right. So, we have our hand. So now we're going to take a full bottle of barbecue sauce, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and you can kind of see how that lid just snaps right on with a little bit of Elmer's glue, okay? That baby would, not all of it. We, uh, we went around and around with friends when they would get married, go into their home and kill all the ladies <laughs> on all their jeans. Oh, yeah, you guys. So they have no idea what they had. I love the idea of like coming up with like a little baby mouse, like one of those uh, cat toy mouses. Could you imagine? Oh my gosh. You guys. You're, you're the you have to like the pineapple and mandarin oranges. <laughs> oh my gosh. That'd be hilarious. We have too much fun with this one for the friends, don't we? All right. So, what I'm going to do is we have the pineapple and the chicken and the barbecue sauce. I'm going to have you just stir that up for me, y'all. While she's stirring that up, let me show you a little bit about how this baby works. The pressure cooker is a double wall thickness. Um, it's very safe to put in the microwave because we're going to go ahead and seal it all down. There's four different safety features on this so it doesn't explode. All right. Now, if you're the kind of person who had a grandmother and she had the pressure cooker in the, in the kitchen, most of the times, don't go in the kitchen because it might explode. Literally, pressure cookers were that sensitive they could actually blow up in the kitchen. I don't know who anybody would want to subject their family to that, but it's okay. This guy right here has a couple of safety features. First safety feature is it has a rubberized ring. So when the pressure builds up too much, this ring will collapse all the food and the pressure will be released, okay? It has a pressure control valve right here, okay? And this is actually going to be all the way up when we're, when we're cooking this, and then we have to wait for this to depress before we un unlock and load it. This is another pressure valve right here that allows the steam to escape right here. And then there's a final one, which is right here underneath the handle. Okay. Now, what I did just the other day, because I was impatient, I do not suggest you do this. But I, I, I unlocked the handle and the pressure switch. All right. So, but don't do that. You're not supposed to do that. Okay. So what I've done is I, oh, let me, let me go ahead and say how to do this. I, I go. There's a hand. There's a little arrow on the cover, okay, and there's an arrow on the handle. So I match the arrows up, and I give a little bit of a twist, and then I lock and load it. It's ready to go. So we're gonna put this in the microwave for 25 minutes, okay? Because we got about two and a half pounds of chicken in here. So I do 10 minutes, 10, one pound of chicken, about 15 minutes, two pounds, 20 minutes, three pounds, 30 minutes. No more than 30 minutes with your pressure cooker. So no more than three pounds of chicken. So we're gonna do this at 25 minutes, and it's on high, and that is what we're gonna work with. So once we have the chicken all done, okay, pretty easy to do, we're gonna take it and we're gonna shred it with this guy right here, okay? This guy right here, and and um, all our power shelves, we've got in for circuit. So, stuff that's on sale, we get some more opportunity as an auction of all. Okay.
actually going to put the thing right there. So follow me. January 5th. And her text was, I'm eating the celery I got for Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay. And I just joke because she, she keeps celery literally for eight weeks. Okay. Um, and it doesn't go bad. Would not, would that save you some money? Okay. So fridge smarts on sale, $35 with a $50 order. All right. Best investment. And it's $35 with every $50 order. So if you decide to invest in a pressure cooker tonight, which is $99, Order something just little, and you can actually get two of those sets. So you get two sets for $70, which is less than a really good deal. Really yeah. good deal. Okay. The other thing that we're going to love about these is because 
I think about in different sizes, um, you're going to discover that there's certain vegetables like this guy right here will hold more than just a head of lettuce. If you have the same type of breeder, they can live in harmony in the same box. So carrots, celery, and mushrooms can live in this box all, all together because they're in the same category. All right. So this, for instance, would be great for berries, blueberries, and berries, blueberries, boysenberries, all those berries are the same breeder. So you can put all of your different berries inside here. Now there is a little trick of keeping your vegetables as fresh as you possibly can get them so that maximizes the length of storage. It's dry, dirty, and naked. What I mean by that is get the driest vegetables you can get your hands on. So when you go to the grocery store and they have the little thunder and lightning show going on in the produce section, like a Safeway, right? Run! Okay, I'm kidding. But you want to lift the wet stuff up and you want to get the dry stuff down below. Because the drier the vegetable, the, the fresher it's going to stay. Now, if you go to a farmer's market, if you ever had an opportunity to do that, like at Green Block, you're going to notice that when the farmers bring their produce to market, they don't wash them before they bring them, do they? They're dirty. They're laying out on the table because the farmer knows the minute you expose your vegetables to water, they start to decompose. Okay? So get your vegetables dry. Then put them in the plastic bag if you have to. Bring them home. Take them out of the plastic bag. That's the naked part. they got to be unclothed. <laughs> Okay, I know guys, you like that. Okay, I like the whole thing. <laughs> and the other thing is dirty. In other words, don't wash your vegetables until you're ready to eat them. It's actually things like berries. Berries are very porous. You wash your berries and put them in the refrigerator, they mold overnight because there's too much moisture. So, one of the things that you can do to help get you that $50 benchmark, so you can get the fridge mark, and it does come with your four pieces right here. Oh, which, by the way, you know, these are a little too big to fit in your crisper drawer, right? So you're like, oh, okay, so what do I do with them? So in your crisper drawer, guess what? You're gonna take the stuff that's hanging out in your refrigerator. Oh, marshmallow cherries, jalapeno pepper jelly, you know those things that you bought for one recipe, you use one tablespoon, they fit, right? Okay, what about beer? What about soda pop? What about a great place to hide chocolate bars is in the, in, in the crisper drawer. It's <laughs> all your secret. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Or better yet, take your crisp drawers out, okay, and put your crisp marks where your crisp drawers are. Some of you are attached to your crisp drawers, okay? okay? But take and take some of that stuff that's sitting in your refrigerator, put back in your crisp drawer, mustard, mayonnaise, relishes, all that stuff, put in your crisp drawer, okay? Open up that area, put your fridge marks where you see them, because guess what? If you open up the fridge and you see your vegetables, <gasps> it might be, <laughs> right? Because we all need five serving the fruits and vegetables a day. So, these guys are wonderful, and you want to add those to your order. The way that you can get to your $50 is by investing in another great product called our salad stand. This doesn't come in the catalog very often, um, and I'm excited to see it back on sale. Well, this is on sale for $25, $35, $25, $25. Around there, it's in your sales bar. So I don't have to know all the answers, right? All right. So this guy right here is a little different than your traditional salad spinners. Because how many of you buy a salad spinner from, I don't know, Bed Bath & Beyond, right? Like, okay. okay. And all it's good for is spinning salad. Because <laughs> it doesn't come apart, right? You push the pump thing, it spins. Okay, it's good for spinning salad. This doesn't have a pump thing. It actually has a handle. And it's specially weighted. So when this is full of food, it doesn't shoot the one over the place. It has rubberized feet on the bottom, so it keeps it steady. But it also has a brake. So if you're impatient, <laughs> you want to stop it, okay? It has a removable follicle, which allows you to use this for more than just lettuce. You can use this to rinse your grapes. You can use this to do your elbow macaroni before you make macaroni salad. Get all the water out of your elbows, right? Okay? So your salad's not soggy. Um, but you can use this, what I like to use this for in the summertime, watermelon, okay? Did you know something? When you cut a watermelon, you put it in a bowl, what happens to that bottom layer of watermelon? Oh, it's nasty. It's supposed to ferment, turn into watermelon wine. Not a bad thing, okay? However, that's not what you're anticipating. <laughs> or if you have miners that are in the watermelon, they not be a good thing. So what I like about this is I can take this, put my water, cut up watermelon, or cut up, or cut up candle, anything that's, okay? I can seal this up. Okay, and I pull this out with every dinner, I pull this out with breakfast, we have fresh cut up watermelon, and it stays fresh for longer. About every other day, you're simply gonna lift the water, the juice, okay, and for your watermelon, okay? And especially, 
Um, if you get those, some of those big watermelons, it's nice and handy to have. When you're not using this for watermelon, you may be using this for your fine washables. It makes a great little clothing center if you need to. Okay? But the other thing is it comes with this cool cutting board. So you have this cutting board that you got your lettuce all spun inside here, right? And you want to cut in some radishes. You want to cut in some celery. You want to cut in some carrots. Chop and move. Then this will last, um, like your dinner time salad, this will last days. Now, remember lettuce is a moderate breather. You don't know that because it's on the chart. And um, celery and carrots are a light breather. You can't necessarily mix breathers together because they'll spoil. But for about three or four days, you can. All right. The other thing about lettuce, when you're cutting up lettuce, always rip it with your hands. Um, don't use a knife because then it turns green. What about the lettuce knife? Lettuce knives will work. They're usually plastic or glass. Okay. So if you got a lettuce knife, hang on to that. You can sell that one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not yet. But you never know. It might be. True. I'll hold on to that. Hang on. So, and then when you're storing this, I forgot to say this, you actually flip the center upside down, and that's how it stores in your cupboard. So it doesn't take up all of You're not using it. Isn't that cool? <laughs> that's how that works. Right? All right. So, um, let me give you an opportunity to get some more money. Maybe. I'm going to have to take the money, so I'll grab this money. Hey, we do have a couple things that are on sale that I wanted to make sure that you are aware. This actually um, ends on right. Friday, okay? And it's um, on the book. A lot of times what Tupperware will have, they'll have this like one page deals that go for about two weeks. So I put these like in sheet protectors so you guys can take a look at those. Um, so great little products to take advantage of. The sandwich keepers, four of them for 15 bucks. Great deal. And not only good for sandwiches, they're great for first aid kits in the car. Okay, they're really good for um, the feminine supply box in the car. Okay, <laughs> for those of guys that are paying attention, you can use it for your man stuff. Okay. Um, also, is really good for traveling if you want to put stuff in jewelry. That can some big sandwiches that work for a. Um, you can go ahead and use those for other things. Talking about work, I just want to talk a little about this. You know what this is? Yeah, we're going to put her on the spot here. Do you want to eat with a $40 order in the catalog that you can hide that for $10 or something? It's on the back. Is it? Is it $10 or $12? $10 for the $40. Um, yes. Yes. All right. So, now, how many of you work outside the home? Wow. Do you take lunch? Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you know if you take lunch, you save a lot of money? Yeah. Right? But it's important to have the right container. Have you ever spilled something in your lunch bag? Like, oh man, that was my lunch. That was a little bit of <laughs> I'm stalling for you, Liz. It's a multiple lunch container. Is this a multiple lunch container? I have one. So, we should make Paul do it. Yeah. Uh, Paul, I'm going to talk about this more. What would you use that for, Paul? Did you take a lunch for it? So essentially, you could put like maybe a salad here, have your grass thing, and then like some nuts. So it keeps it all segregated. Yeah. Okay. And what about if I wanted to maybe bring like a baked potato with some sour cream? But the baked potato was cold when I get to lunch. Looks like you can pull it to eat out in my Dang. All right. So this removable cold cup comes out, right? So I have my sour cream in here, right? Maybe I have my baked potato, my fries, all that good stuff. Oh, there you go. So figure that out. Pop the belly button before you put it in right? So, and how many of you are the kind of people who don't like their pizza? Okay, you can eat your dinner out of this, right? Okay. Uh, on sale for $10 with a $40 purchase out of the catalog. Okay. Nice job. All right. Let's give you some more auction dollars. Okay, I would like you to share something that you learned today that you didn't know what you got here and already get for bucks. Vegetables don't breathe the same. <laughs> you didn't know that. It's very cool, huh? Okay. What about and you want to tell anything about our products? Anything that you saw being used? Um, something that you didn't know when you got here? Uh, how that actually stored. How this one here? Okay. <laughs> I have one. Okay, the salad sticker, which is nice because again. So what's a, is that a good reason to come to a party, right? To see these new things. So something else you didn't that you didn't know when you got here. Give us a value. Uh, 
There you go. There you go. Did you know that Tupperware has microwave containers? What? Now you know. Anything else that you guys heard? What about a product? Is it a product that you saw, demonstrated that you were impressed with or surprised by? The can opener. <laughs> the can yeah. opener. Okay. Kind of nice, huh? No sharp edges. You like that little joke thing, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> you can tell. And you can eat that for free. Okay. Sweet. Okay. What about any other products that you guys saw? Well, it's not done yet. Oh, okay. But can you smell it? Oh, yeah. Can you smell it? All right. Can you smell that? Pineapple. Now, some of you, um, I just was thinking about it just the other day. Um, if you didn't have pineapple, I think it would be really good to put frozen mango in it, right? Yeah. Would that be yummy? So, if you didn't, if you, some people don't like pineapple because it's really acidic. So, you do something like, like that. Yes, uh, yes. Yes. But it's coming. It's
a couple of uh, chicken thighs in here, boneless chicken thighs with a little salt and pepper, uh, garlic vinegar, or excuse me, garlic and a little uh, smoked paprika. Six minutes, you'll have golden brown chicken. And then you have a little bit of juices in here. Uh, they'll have my potatoes all based up. Throw that in there with a little olive oil and salt pepper, and then put the lid back on, nice and crispy. And then this has two features. This is in the grill feature. And then you turn the lid a quarter turn, and then this is in the oven feature. And what's really cool about this unit is that when you put it in the microwave, no matter how many times you put it in the microwave or how long, it is only gonna go 425 degrees max. So you can literally make a pizza in this and uh, in the oven lid up so you don't squish all your goodies. But uh, you buy one of those uh, pre-made uh, uh, bobbly crisps or mama, some or others, and you put it in there and a little bit of a uh, piece of sauce that you can actually buy in a squeeze bottle now and all your favorite ingredients on top. We'll set this on top. Four minutes, I believe? Yeah, I think it's more like so, probably. Four minutes. I can't remember, but there is a cookbook that comes with it. There is a cookbook that has it. <laughs> so anyhow, um, we've actually done some homemade pizzas, and have you ever uh, done like a Papa Murphy's pizza or Pizza Hut pizza, and you have leftovers, and you put it in the microwave, and it turns soggy and mushy when you bring it out? You set that piece of uh, leftover pizza in here, two and a half minutes, three minutes max, you know, come out crispy like you just bought it from the pizza company. But anyhow, it has what they call two uh, receptors built into the lid and into the bottom. And what those receptors do is it takes the microwaves and turn it into thermal energy. And that's where it does the, the grilling and the baking is from the heat that it creates at 425 degrees. That is an amazing product. Okay, the other thing that, um, and it looks good, okay? Oh, it's super so, sexy. It is. <laughs> uh, and the, whoops, I forgot the name. Um, the handles, the handles are a silicone rubber. Right. So uh, when it comes out of the microwave, it actually is, you can handle it. You can um, yeah, you can handle it maybe once or twice, but if you're uh, cooking a couple of things right behind each other, it does get warm. So you do want to have some minutes, because um, it's, it's, it does get warm. 425 degrees. So this is actually the ones that came to me from the kitchen. So it's been used, it's probably been used for about six months. So, you know, just, it's not like pretty sparkling dye, but you can understand, that, right? It's seasoned. But you can see that it's, um, it has a lot of texture. It. it is, and you know, people say this all the time, like, how can you, can you put metal in the microwave? Yes, you can. If you have the right composition and the right amount of food. So Tupperware is really one of the, I would honestly say, a company that has the best microwave products out there, period. Safe. Okay. Safe. 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 okay, so that guy right there retails for $199, okay? So you can get that product tonight at full retail. You can host a party and earn $200 in free Tupperware, or you can get it for half price for whatever, $199, $99.50, right? I do that in my head, okay? $9.50, but did I say you can get it for $45, right? Okay, you can actually get it for $45 if you decide to come in and give the business a try. So you, you decide to come in, hold a couple parties, try it on for size, and see what happens. So I'm gonna yeah, give you $100. Like that. right. I'm gonna give you $100 if you ask me a question about my job, okay? And Liz's job, because Liz is brand new Tupperware. So Liz is actually getting her micro girl too, not yet, but it's time. Okay, so ask me a question about my job and I'll give you hundred dollars. How long have you been doing this? Good question. I'll give you hundred dollars bonus if you come within two years. Twenty years. Thirty-one. All right. So I've been selling Tupperware for 21, 31 years. I started when I was twelve. <laughs> okay, I was a little older than that. I'm dyslexic, by the way, so watch your order. I was twenty-one. <laughs> I was twenty-one years old when I decided to sell Tupperware. Quit my full-time job at twenty-two, and I've been doing Tupperware full-time ever since. Okay, so good question. Anybody else have a question for me? How many parties do you do a year? A year? Okay, a month. Okay, a year. I try to do a lot a year. Um, I try honestly try to do two to three parties a week. Oh, okay. Um, ask me why I do two to three parties a week. Why do you do two to three parties a week? I had an idea. So, um, are you having fun? Yeah, I do this all the time. I have fun like this all the time. Okay, you imagine this? This is my job. 
But the best thing, I'm only gone for about two hours. Okay, I go out to a party, but ask me how much money I make. How much money? Do That's you a make? great question. Okay. I'm glad I thought about oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> good. Okay. On an average, a standard party is five hundred dollars. That's where host gets a lot of our fun, cool stuff for free, and that's a standard party. When I have a five hundred dollar party, I make one hundred and twenty five dollars. Ask me how long a party takes. How long does a party oh, take? Great question. I'm told. Cool. Oh, that's that's so much hey, okay. Hey. Okay. 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 Everybody goes okay. about an hour and a half to two hours. So I'm making. You're gonna love this. One hundred twenty five dollars in two hours legally standing up with my clothes on. You like that? Right? Uh, <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> that's your question. So I have five hundred dollars. If you want to ask me the bonus question, what's the bonus question? No, 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 that, that, that's that. Okay, what do you think the bonus question is, Louis? What do you think the bonus question is? Five hundred bucks. Um, are there any other benefits besides making a lot of money per hour? <laughs> okay, that's not the bonus question. I'll give you hundred dollars for that question. I have, I have been um, all around the world, and one of the trips that we're currently working Just for is. Is a trip to Hemingway, okay? Um, but we've been to London and Paris and South Africa. We've been all over the world because of the We've been to Hawaii about five times, okay? About five times, been to Hawaii, and um, all of them have been free, okay? Um, but you know, the thing about, oh, we went to Alaska. We went to Alaska cruise. cruise. Um, and a lot of these trips are working um, for the Greek cruise this year. Um, a lot of these um, gifts and prizes and things are based on team sales and team camaraderie. And so as a leader, as a business leader, I have an opportunity to not only earn, we get to earn a trip, but in the process, I get to help other people be successful because when we're successful, we don't do that on, we don't do that by ourselves. Okay. Um, by helping Liz get, be successful and Sharon be successful, it all kind of accumulates and we all become successful as a team. So there's tricks for consultants to earn and directors to earn all the way up to business leaders to earn. And we earn a lot of trips, so it's kind of fun. So ask me another question. Uh, what do you make per year? Who? Um, over six figures. Yes. So, you know, and people say, well, why are, you, are you still selling Tupperware? And I'll say, oh, are you still working for Boeing? And they're like, oh, no, I got laid off. <laughs> we don't have layoffs, <laughs> right? Because the only person who can lay us off is, is us. Okay, so this, um, so I do have a bonus question though. So, how can I do that's the bonus question? $500. So, let me let me share something with you. If you grab your catalog out of your little packet, if you have it handy, okay. Oh, I, 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 I didn't tell you to bring it with you, did I? Apologize. Grab your big catalog out of the pocket. Big the big catalog. This one? Okay, yeah, that's not very big, is it? Okay, the thicker one. How's that? Okay. And I want you to flip over to the very back cover, okay? And I want you to open the back cover, okay? So open up, there you go. And you're gonna see that there's our starter kit, okay? So a lot of people say, well, gosh, you know, how do I get started and what do I get started with? What you're gonna notice is there's a couple of things inside that starter kit that we use today. We are gonna be using the Power Chef to shred our chicken. We use the spatula, we use the can opener. We could have used the measuring cups and measuring spoons, but you get all of these premier products to get started with. Now the cost of the kit is $99, but you can actually get started with a $39 investment. So you come into the business for $39 with a little bit of tax, come in and hold two standard parties in your first 60 days, that's two months, and Tupperware will forego the $60 balance annual. Okay, so worst case scenario, you come in, you give it a try, it doesn't work for you, guess what? You get the Tupperware, okay? That's your Tupperware kit. Best case scenario, you come in, and you're like, no, it's kind of fun. I, 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 think, I think I can do this a couple nights a week. I think, I think I'm making some money. I'm meeting some friends. I'm earning some trips. And who knows? Maybe there's a company car in your driveway. And you did see that there's a car right in that picture. And you're also going to see that some of you did get a chance to see, but I have a Tupperware car on my driveway. Um, Tupperware pays for the taxes, the license, and the insurance of the vehicle. I pay for gas and oil changes, and I get a new car every two years. So it, since, it's since Kelly and I have been in the business, 30 some years and we've never had to pay a second vehicle. Oh, we've always had a company car. Okay. And there was a time that when we didn't have a company car, they gave us cash instead. Cash is okay. <laughs> 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 the cash they gave you would, would pay for not only pay for the payment, car payment, but insurance for the vehicle. Okay. So, oh, my little piece of paper. So, let me give you an opportunity to get some more auction dollars here. So, let me show them real quick what the pork chop looks like in the microphone grill for six minutes. Oh, wow. 
It grills you guys. Is that about right? Uh, but still. Okay. All right. So. All right. So for five hundred dollars. Let me show you these guys real quick. Okay. That's what there the pork chops look pork like chop in, the grill. in the grill. We get the angle. There we go. Not the glare. Okay. So, oh, why host a Tupperware party at the beginner box? To meet people. To meet people. To get stuff. To get stuff. Why host a Tupperware party? To get stuff. To drink margaritas. To drink margaritas. <laughs> the recipes. So, just to kind of give you a nutshell, how our free, how our host program works. When you have a gathering of friends, we talk about the standard party of five hundred. Right? Talk about that's about what our standard party is. When you have a five hundred dollars upward party and two of your very best friends decide that they want to have a get together, you get to maximize your host credits, and you can get seventy five dollars of anything you want in the catalog, two items at half price, or inside your catalog, two pages in from the back, you're going to see a beautiful modular mix set, and that modular mix set can be yours for free when you have a standard party. So I think it's two pages in. Aha! I'm right. So two pages in. From the back. So if you're the kind of person who wants to get your cupboard organized, like I have my cupboard organized, um, you can get all of those products for free. If you want to do a little bit more and do $600 in sales with the same two babies, then you can get this whole entire food set for free. So if I have a $1,000 Tupperware party, could I get both? Yes. Okay. A $1,000 Tupperware party with two babies can get you this set here and that modulate set and still have $15 left over for the shop. All right, so how do you have a thousand dollar party? Fifteen sixty seven dollar orders. So, how many of you are looking through the catalog going, Oh, sixty seven dollars is not going to be too difficult to get, <laughs> right? The pressure cooker and some of the other things. Okay, so you get fifteen sixty seven dollar orders and you have a thousand dollar party. You have a two hundred dollar shopping spree. Okay, and you get three items at half price. So, you might like to do the micro grill, the pressure cooker, or some of the other things that we have. So that is a button down. Go down, go down, go down. So let me show you what we're looking for. Because this has been in the microwave for 25 minutes. That little button that's sitting up there, we gotta wait for that to depress because that's the pressure will equalize. Now, like I said earlier, I put the handle in it. So if you're really, really, really in a hurry, give it some time to, to, to like relax a little bit, okay? So then we're gonna we're actually gonna take this and we're gonna shred this and put it on Hawaiian rolls, all right? So, I think that's probably what I'm going to do. That's what you're not supposed to do. So I understand. You didn't do it. All right. You did just keep on. Okay. So, you so all right. So, we're going to have you guys bring, come back over here, and then we're going to just shred this up so you can kind of see what this looks like, and then we're going to eat. And look at that, you guys. <laughs> All right, you see this? That's our chicken. Is that beautiful? Okay. Now, we've also done chicken nachos. And if you want to do chicken nachos, I'll talk to you guys. One pound of chicken and a can of enchilada sauce. 15 minutes. There you go. 15 minutes in the microwave. And then you just shred it all up, put it on your um, tortillas, okay? Tortilla chips, you're ready to go. This piece right here, actually one of the products that come in the kit, okay? Um, and this will not only do salsa, it will also do peanut butter frosting. <laughs> we did that last night with this amazing peanut butter cake. So if you're gonna do that cake, rock awesome, okay? So your, your tri-level blade has a built-in cover and it's a good reason because this baby is super, super sharp. And like I said, this guy right here, our knife sharpener, is actually perfect to sharpen these blades. You just do a couple of times on each one, and the way that it's designed it actually will fit really well. I really think this knife sharpener was designed to sharpen these blades. Okay, we're gonna put the blade back in here like this. Okay, and we're gonna just take our chicken. I'm gonna show you this because we're gonna shred this up now. If you're going to be doing this at home, um, Liz did a really good job of chopping this chicken. She chopped it so well. Um, you don't have to necessarily have it this small, okay? But she did a good job. Okay. So how many of you ever shredded chicken before? Okay, uh, with two forks, right? Yep. Isn't that fun? 
Watch this. Okay. Four poles. Oh, maybe five. <laughs> okay. Okay. No. Okay. If you only get this for shredded chicken, this is worth it. All right. Now, I wanted to let you know starting on Saturday, you are not to buy this tonight. Not it. Jeff, did you hear what I said? Don't work. You are not to buy this tonight. Okay. Because it goes on sale. <laughs> Okay. And if I have, if I know that there's something coming on sale, okay, within a reasonable amount of time, I will, as a, as a, as a service, I will let you know because I think that's worth it. <clears throat> because you'd be awfully mad at me if you came to a party next week, like, you're not out. All right. So I'm going to put my shredded chicken back in, and then I'm going to come and just grab a couple more pieces. And I'm just shredding the chicken. So um, this does, recipe tells me to put it back in the pressure cooker because Liz did such a great job with our little chicken pieces, I'm going to be fishing them around a little bit, okay? Too efficient. You, she, you, she was too efficient, okay? And some of these are kind of, I mean, if you wanted to do, well, this would be really good if you didn't even want to shred it, if you want to surface on rice, right? So cutting it up small like this and doing it as a topping for like sweet and sour chicken, okay? Rice or pasta, easy. Good. And that's how easy this is. You like it? So sometimes when it's hot like this, this gets a little snug. And because it's all slippery too. Okay. So we are ready to cut the Hawaiian rolls up, Liz. So if you want to grab a package of the Hawaiian rolls, and we'll go ahead and probably cut them in half. Yep. And I think what you can do is um, just serve them open faced if you want. I just think this would be great if it had mango or you could actually maybe put broccoli in here too if you, or cauliflower if you want to put cauliflower in here. Nobody will know that the cauliflower is in here, right? Have you ever had cauliflower rice? Delicious. Nobody knows that it's cauliflower rice. Delicious. All right. Hey, I got all my little pieces out of here. All right. So, let me ask you a question, Ms. Claire. Out of the hostess gifts that you saw demonstrated tonight, we have that beautiful pink set, or we have the modern make set in the catalog, um, or both. Do you need it? Yes. Um, which hostess gift do you think that you'd be most likely? Pink stuff. You like the pink stuff? Yeah. Okay. So, we can get that for you for free. How does that sound? Sounds like a good one. And then what kind of party do you want to do? Do you want to do like um, the peanut butter? Yeah, I'm all about sugar. Okay. Do we want to do chocolate martinis? Okay. So chocolate martini, chocolate peanut butter cake party. Okay. You know, we could call it a chocolate cone toast party. There we go. What do you think? Yeah, Clara's chocolate cone toast party. There you go. Look at all those C's, man. Done. I like it. What about you, Lewis? What kind of gifts do you like? You want to get the, you want to get keep your own Tupperware, or would you like to maybe um, get the modern age set that's in the catalog? What do you think? Um, I'd probably go for the pick your own stuff. Yes. Oh, is there any, anything t tonight that we talked about that you would be navigating toward, like the pressure cooker or anything like that? Uh, the pressure cooker definitely. Uh, uh, probably the pitcher too. Okay. Okay. So we got a good shopping list for you. Okay. Okay. So here it is. No. Okay. So just guys come over and we will. Now what kind of party do you want to do, Miss Lewis? Do you want to do something like? Oh, you could do beer tasting. Yeah, that'd be fun. Wow. Game party. Yeah, we could do old prices, right? Or we could do um, battle the sexes. Oh. <sighs> Uh, God's okay. gonna volunteer for that. We know, <laughs> that's, we know that's rigged and we're gonna well, lose anything. We can definitely do the type of party that is gonna be right up your alley. So, um, we want to thank our Zoomers for being with us today. We're gonna go ahead and stop everything and we want to thank Liz. Lean in and say, Yay! <laughs> thank Liz for letting us record our party tonight. And, um, you guys in Zoom land don't get a chance to taste this, but it's so easy. We encourage you to, to get your pressure cooker. It's on sale through Friday. Um, invest in the pressure cooker. Do the chicken sliders or any of the other types of things that we are going to be sharing later in the future. 
Um, and thanks for joining us today. See you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are awesome. I'm going to stop the recording. Peace. Cheers.